The observer would like to advise that the following video comes with a trigger warning. The content in this video is of a sensitive nature, so please beware that the topic of this video may trigger you. The observer recommends that you consider your own mental health before you watch this video. It's funny, Sarah. So, yeah. By the way. So, yeah, by the way. Why did she just have to randomly say, so, yeah, by the way? <laughs> I'm doing that eight. I'm all right, thank you, sweet. No, I can't look this, unfortunately. Oh, I hate the noise of fans, unfortunately. Oh, I hate it. I'm fed feed through the pump that's next to me, but yeah. I'm normally always cold. I don't know what's going on tonight. Exactly. You can't be completely like, well, you can be obviously if you have to be, but like sometimes it won't really like, you know, I'm not going to deprive myself if I really, really fancy something, let's face it. Because the sweets don't absorb anyway and they drain out, but yeah, down my tube into my jejunum, into my intestines. I have had a change. Well, I've vomited up either, but yeah. So I can't, I, I'm not actually meant to eat sweets and I can't eat them. They don't stay in my body. I literally chew them, swallow them. I don't have swallowing problems. I either, they either melt and they drain out or I vomit it up. I wish I could eat. If I could eat, I wouldn't have to have tubes and that would be great. Literally. <laughs> yeah, sweets do melt, love. Depends what sort of sweet you have. I specifically have the jelly ones that actually do melt quite well. Anyways, jelly sweets don't no, fucking melt. melt. Right, I've got a jelly sweet now. I'm going to put it in my mouth. Let's see if it's still there in half an hour. I'll let you know, guys. Liquids, as it, well, as in like thin liquids. Yeah, that's literally what I'm meant to be on. I thought it clear again. I'm meant to be on thin liquids as per my dietitian and my gastro. Occasionally, I will literally just have a sweet or two. And that is literally when I mean like once or twice. Yeah. Because it's dangerous if any of it sits in my stomach. It can actually rot. Exactly. The milkiness will still like it. Dra so sweets drain with your like melt with your saliva. Ice cream will sit in your stomach still. So like if you suck on a sweet, it will be in your saliva basically, and it will drain out just as my saliva. But yeah. Jelly sweet gone in at 16 minute past two. Let's see how long it takes to dissolve on my tongue. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Over time, unfortunately, and some of them I was born with. <sighs> it is. It <sighs> It's just life, unfortunately, darling. Yeah. It's life, you know, it carries on regardless. Yeah, Sorry, guys, it only lasted a minute. It tasted too good. I had to eat it. Cheap, or even without a tube, it's different. Some people can eat stuff, some people can't. I'm not an end of life, lovely. No. I was on palliative care, which is not end of life. I might have confused the wording. But what I actually was on was palliative care, which is not end of life, it's different. You said I am end of life because I am dying, you like, liar. Backtracking or backtracking my story or anything. Like, literally, after a seizure, and this is genuine, after a seizure, I do sometimes come on here. I probably shouldn't, I should probably have my... Shh, 
my bloody phone taken off of me at this point. But literally, I get confused. Like anyone, I get confused, and especially after a seizure. And I do come on here quite a lot after seizures, especially if I literally can't fall asleep. And then I talk, and then I talk, and then I talk, and then I talk. And I actually generally get confused at the way I say things sometimes. I do love the, yeah. She didn't just say that, did she? She did not just not say that after else, denying saying, like, saying yeah, it for weeks. That's not appropriate. Do I know why? Some of it's genetic and some of it I was just born with, lovely. It's horrible, lovely. Honestly, I feel you. Evening, lovely. How are you? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. A lot of people say that. It's a good way of breaking up medication, to be fair. How long have I been paralysed? Just over two years, but yeah. Right, it's 19 minutes past 10. I'm going to count how many times it says what yet in the next half an hour. It doesn't hurt. It can just look a bit red and sore, but it doesn't actually hurt me. I've had it blister before, but that's not when it's these tapes. It's when it's a different type of tape. But yeah, I'm allergic to quite a few of them. Well, most of them. But this one I'm actually okay with to a point. It still breaks down my skin, but not like the others. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you, lovely. Hey, thank you, Rebecca. No, if I did say it, I wasn't, love, quite frankly. I might have been talking about someone and got it confused, literally. I do get confused a lot, and this is what I literally just said. If you're going to keep using whatever is out there against me, then quite frankly, you can leave my life. Because I'm not having words used against me that I haven't just said now. Well, if you think it's going to upset me, can we please not say it? Poor you, you're going goodbye. Well, to be fair, I have, but yeah, they did. Yeah, I'm not being rude, lovely, quite frankly. Or are you talking about that, Isabel? It's breaking down the syringe, uh, the medication, lovely. Oh, generally. I just actually don't want to be upset. I'm just doing a live as awareness and that's, that's it. Like, I'm not trying to be nasty in any way, shape or form. I'm literally trying to um, ask, answer questions, but also people are spreading hate about me regardless and I won't tolerate it. I'm not saying you guys are actively hating, but I'm just saying there is a lot of hate going around. Yeah, it breaks down the tablets into, some tablets break down in water quite quickly. Do I have diabetes? No, but I was diagnosed with it. So I'm not diagnosed with it now, but I was diagnosed with it. It was a misdiagnosis. But I got them to remove, thank God. There isn't any need for any of the hate, no. So I have non-diabetic hypoglycemia, but unfortunately it's quite severe. I hit some very bad lows. Put a feed on then and you'll be fine, wouldn't you? You dick. That's fine, lovely. No, it's fine, I don't need to know. Sounds forced. I'm not forcing anything, love. Yeah, you are. It is lovely, I know. I fought them, literally. I've never said about Kayari. I've said I've known people that have had it. I've had a friend that's had it. So no, literally. I am 25, lovely. So one of the tubes goes into my stomach. This is an NG. I can change it myself because I'm trained. This has to be changed in hospital, which is an NJ. It goes into my intestines. So only hospital could do that. I don't know, honestly. 
Unfortunately, not. I have to have them all the time. It's my favourite Disney movie. I love Disney, but I don't actually watch Disney. So when the NG is changed, it personally doesn't hurt me. Don't feel it. When the NJ is changed at the hospital, it is horrible. How would, how would she know? She don't go to hospital to have it changed. Encounter. I actually haven't, lovely. No, I don't watch TV. I cannot have a baby, no. And can we not talk about that, please? It's quite a sore subject. Because I would love children. In all honesty, like, that is a very not nice subject. And can we please not talk about that? It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's just, yeah. I would rather not break, break that subject because it's quite a sore subject, yeah. It's okay. I don't feel like you're being rude, guys. It's just, yeah. I have done beforehand, but very rarely now. Because actually, I, I don't take my phone into hospital. If I'm rushed into hospital, the last thing that is thought about is my phone. I live alone, love. There's a few accounts saying things. I don't have any particular thoughts about anyone or anything. I just don't think hate is right in any way. I don't know how many medications I take. I don't actually count them. Hey, Mama Four, how are you? How can you not know how many medications you take? Hey Lucy Lou darling, you okay sweet? Hey T. Um, so I'm just trying to make sure I get everything right and get it all done properly. Do I know I have took them all? I know I have now, I've got them all done for the night now. Well once I've drawn the one up. Do I have Lucy? No, I have Emma as well. They don't check on me. I've never had them in my house, but yeah. So I can't absorb through my stomach. This goes into my intestines directly. So bypasses my stomach and goes into my intestines. I'm as okay as I can be. Thank you, Jenny. I got some team and they're good ones. Yeah, thank you. All my team are good ones though. Well, it's like not my team. We're, we're just best friends. Like we all look, like, look after each other really well. My mods, my care is not at all lovely, no. I have carers that come in, but my mods are not my carers. We are best friends. If I ever feel hungry, I sometimes crave things, but not feeling hungry as such. I don't really know what hunger feels like anymore, but I crave certain things, if that makes sense. How can she crave things if she's never eaten? I'm like paralyzed and I can't actually... No, I can't actually. I can't, sorry, I can't say it. Fern, how's my day been? It's been okay, I guess. Thank you. As a baby, some of it, not all of it. So, but I don't get a craving for a particular food or anything. I get it for just like, it'll be like, oh, I just need something sweet or whatever. Do you get what I mean? That's why we'll suck on a sweet. But yeah. Sorry, lovely. I didn't see it. No, I don't, unfortunately. How do I remember everything? I kind of just got used to it now, but yeah. I can go out and about now. Um, I'm in a wheelchair. Doesn't stop me going out and about, but yeah, no. I haven't been out and about for... Hang on. For nearly... For nearly two years, because I haven't been able to. I haven't been well enough. I'm now starting to go out and about. Well, I will be starting to go out and about because I've got more time with my carers. Blondie, I've just seen you come in here and if you've come in here to start shit, then please remove yourself. There's no supported medical accommodation at all, lovely. All they have is mental health accommodation, supported wise. And the only sort of things that they have otherwise is nursing homes, which are basically... Uh, for the elderly, nursing home, so yeah. Oh, bless you. Did we manage? I haven't napped at all yet, no. Is my EDS responsible? Sometimes, but not everything, no. 
that's good neighbors that look in on me. They don't look in on me. I have a neighbor that has does come see me occasionally. Um, but I I haven't lived here that long, so yeah. I've not seen them personally, but I live in a very smaller area. I don't know of any in this area, but yeah. Maybe, yeah, there's there's like rehabs, physical rehabs, but not like supported living. What's my fave thing? Hobby-wise, I like colouring lovely. A lot of colouring. You can, um, I can't say I can answer it, but yeah. I'm worrying you, why am I worrying you, love? But your name's all the gossip. That's a bit worrying me, to be honest. Do I like painting? I've not been, I don't do painting myself. Do I manage to get dressed? I can dress myself but I physically can't do some of the personal care bits besides dressing myself, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm aware, lovely, thank you. But yeah. Can I manage to get dressed? Oh, sorry, would you go overseas? I would go overseas, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't, but... I wouldn't chew and spit, no, but that's just personally, I just wouldn't choose to. Do I get high? I've been in a helicopter to hospital, like an air ambulance, but I don't regularly get a helicopter to hospital. I've been in an air ambulance when I've been in respiratory arrest and ended up in ICU. That's the only time I've been in an air ambulance, apart from when I've ended up going to hospital and then nearly gone to ICU, but luckily come through the, I have seizures. So that's why I've ended up in air ambulances, unfortunately. Because I do stop breathing with my seizures, unfortunately. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you don't just get a ambulance, a helicopter to hospital, but yeah. Oh, no, that, that's not one for me, Oreo, thank you. I won't be doing that. What condition I have? I'm not going to be talking about my conditions, love. Because quite frankly, yeah. Where do they land? I actually don't know. They just land on a place that's big enough. Bless you, I'm sorry, lovely. Did I have a job before I got poorly? I'll meet you back in a minute, please. Quite quite nice, but with different things. Right, Blondie, I'm not being funny or anything, but... Oh, you've blocked her. <laughs> Don't matter, carry on. <laughs> I used to have a dog, but not anymore, no. Hey, Blondie, lovely. How are you, sweet? Your question hasn't come through, Mum, before, love, no. I wanted to be a nurse, sweetheart. Things, any goals or things to work towards in life? My goals at the moment are just to work towards... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a nurse for myself, though, love. Wow. I'm not a registered nurse, no. I never finished my hours. I'm okay, I guess. How do I get doctors to listen to me? Trust me, not all doctors listen, lovely, but yeah. Night, Rebecca, lovely. Yeah, I understand that. Good evening, Jessica, sweetheart. How are you? I'm freezing now. Honestly, I've just gone really cold. Sorry, one sec. I don't know if I missed anyone's question. Sorry, it's going so fast. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you, Jessica. It 
I'm actually freezing now. Yeah, I understand, Jodie. I'm just, I'm getting a lot of hate on this app right now and I'm not going to be discussing too in-depth about it because that just fuels into the hate. I'm happy to do lives and chat in general, but I don't need to give too much personal in-depth information about because that just fuels into what they want more, to be honest. They want more details and everything to stir up shit about me and no, that's not happening. We don't want details, love. We have the details, we're not stupid. Oh, occupational health for a nightmare, sweet. I feel for you there, Jesus. It is a nightmare. I do do Is our Rocky health still in here? <laughs> What's the hot longest I've been in hospital? Eight months, lovely. Do I get seen straight away? It depends on why I'm in there. And what about the five years you were on TPN for? The gastro, I get sent straight to the gastro ward. It depends if I get seen straight away by the um, registrar or who's on or not. It depends. Every night or every day is different. I don't know, love. You can't trick the NHS. We all know that. <laughs> no one can trick the NHS just as no one can make the NHS do something it doesn't want to do. Do you get what I mean? Like, if an NHS doctor or anything doesn't want to do anything, they're not going to do it. I don't need mental health help, thank you. Goodbye. Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> oh, bless. Yeah, I... Exactly, Gem. I, I forced all the doctors to do these to Carly, you know. Literally. There's a few different blue ones that I've got. Um, Oh, don't know what's happened here. Yeah, I get you. See, the NHS have saved me multiple times, but they've also caused a lot of stress multiple times. So, yeah, twos and throws, you get what I mean. <laughs> because I have no answer to that, because that's what people apparently do with their life. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have a driving license to be a paramedic. I had a good day, it's not been too bad. Yeah, fans, clearly. Or obsessed, that's what I'm going to say, but yeah. I'm your biggest fan, I told you that. Yeah. Do you know what? It doesn't bother me that much all the time. It's just, yeah, a little bit lovely, unfortunately.
it's some days it's more painful than others, but yeah. Got any plans tomorrow? How many book yes yeah, are we on now? I was planning on it. Oh, 18. I was planning on going out with my carer in the morning tomorrow, but it just depends on the weather now. We've got to wait and see what the weather is in the morning and how I feel in the morning to see, basically. Mm -hmm. Only for a walk. Well, <laughs> I say a walk, but yeah. A push or a wheel, but you get what I mean. What made me decide to make this account? I call it a walk because to me it's, it is my walking, but you get what I mean. You go shopping and stuff, your carers. Um, I haven't got an electric chair, no. I can't use one. I can go out with my carers, yeah. Just depends on how much time I've got at that specific visit and where I want to go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. I'm gonna go out with friends or family. I can go out with friends or family, yeah. <laughs> what friends? Hi, Jemima. I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I'm always getting stuck between things. In my wheelchair at places, I hate that. How old when I started going to hospital? Very young, unfortunately. How young though, Kirsten? Because I thought your longest hospital stay were five years. And you've just oh, said thank it. You, thank you. Well, I haven't been into Primark in absolutely years, I swear. I don't have one, any very close to me. kind of miss Primark. I want to buy some new jammers. <laughs> Sad as it is, they have the best jammers. We all know that. Oh, no, I'm free then. Oh. Now, would you know if you haven't been there for years? You know it. Do we have a little? We do, but it's not in. It's not in like travel distance for me personally to get there. It would have to be mum or dad or getting me in the van. But yeah, as in like the wheelchair accessible van. But so it would have to be more of a drive than like a push. You know what I mean? I don't know what to call it now because people say, "Oh, walk, oh, you can walk, oh, whatever." But yeah, no, um, I physically can't get that far in my wheelchair and I never really thought about going there in the van, but I don't know. I'm just going to get an Udi. Let me pause for a minute, guys, and I'll just wait one sec. 
<laughs> what did I just say? Jesus, I don't even know. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go get a hoodie and I'll be back. It's definitely not letting any secrets out tonight, is she? <laughs> Dickhead. Right, she left at 10.43. How many book years are we on? But anyway, I am back. That was two minutes. I'm sorry, Becky, darling. I'm here for you, sweetheart. Let me just lean forward for a minute. It's so hard to get one of these bloody things on. Wrong way, of course, like a lemon. Look, so I'm here, sweetheart. Yeah, what are you saying, Tina, lovely? You okay, Tina, sweetheart? Oh, Christ. Literally, I'm on the arm, how typical. My lord, that's not even the arm, for fudge's sake. Uh, what is she doing? That's not how you put a jumper on. I don't know if she knows that. Jesus Christ, she can't even get herself dressed. What's she doing? The real Caroline, are you there? I'm here. What's she doing? I think I was wondering if she was trying to avoid all her tubing, to be honest. Because that's not how you get yourself dressed, I'm sorry, but I never put a jumper on from the back. I don't either, but I don't have a bunch of tubes that I play with all the time. No, I, don't even I, don't, put, I never I, used to put Carly's through her back either. <laughs> and she's always put it on over her head, so what the fuck she trying to do? Kirstie, I don't play with a whole bunch of tubes all the time, so I wouldn't know how it is. Are you sure to... you don't? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you do. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll take a picture of myself if you want. I got nothing in my snoot right now. <laughs> like, what's she doing, though? I but like, supposed to put a jump maybe, maybe this is part of the my arms don't work narrative. I bet that's it. <laughs> Probably. Oh, she managed it. Oh, God, Good job, girly. <sighs> oh, it's, it's a dressing gown, so she stood up to put it on. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, that's why. I'm back. I'm colder than ever, honestly. You were fucking red up two minutes ago, mate. You bind up. 
Okay, feed and fluids back on. It is Becky, yeah. It is ridiculously cold right now. No, oh, thank you, Tia. Oh my, they can, they can be, thank you. Shout out to I'm okay as I can be. I do, yeah, unfortunately. Sometimes, anyway, I don't get bored very often, but when I do get bored, yeah. It's not nice being stuck at home, but it's not a choice either. Like, I wish I could just go out. If I sneeze, could it remove my tube? Not really. <laughs> I remember strawberry shortcake. doll anyway. What you going to do now? Fill the fucking Right, I'm sorry, but she's just switched that pump on now. How is the milk already covering the clear bit? She's paused the live, filled the tube, the feed on the tube, and then switch the pump off and come back on live. Yeah, we've we've been watching for a while. There's been no pump sounds. But it like at that line we clear a minute ago, you could see it was see through, and now oh it's full of milk. It wouldn't have filled that quick. People are just something else sometimes. Do you get what I mean? But yeah, it's one of those things. People will never be happy with. Is what it is. So she's gone off, paused it, primed the line to make it look like there's milk in the feeding tube, and switched the pump <laughs> off and come back. If nothing else convinces you, think about the fact that nobody else on this app pauses as much as she does. Nobody. That's disgusting, lovely. You are right. I'll see you later. T oh, I'll see you soon, Tia, lovely. Twilight like crystals. I've got some on my windowsill, love. I don't mind them. I know I've got a moonstone. I know I've got a duo love quartz or a double love quartz or something like that. You get what I mean? The two love hearts, but precisely. Oh, bless you. Do you want me to put in group chat, darling, for you, Lucy? Life is hard enough in anyone's book without, like, you know, hate in general. Like, life is hard for anyone, whatever they're going through. So, yeah, I don't see why anyone has... I don't actually know why anyone has a right to hate either. What do you have the right to say the shit you said about my kid? But here we are. No one ever been perfect in their life I sorry to interrupt Kirsty, but i don't think salem is the person that we think it is it's not it's okay not. so salem is not one of her mods guys no sorry no, salem definitely not. <laughs> they've they've been in lives for a long time it's the they're, they're safe <laughs> you sure lucy do you want to do that Get someone in here, sweet. 
I love if I need the glasses. I actually can't remember. I've had them since childhood, but I can't remember the exact age. Exactly that, Clara, Clara Bell, sorry. Exactly that. You make mistakes, it's what you do with the mistakes and after the mistakes. You learn from them, or you do the same thing over and over again. But what did I choose to do? I've chose to learn from them. <laughs> oh, shut up. No, you yeah, haven't. Not I'm actually just really tired. I've been awake for 48 hours, lovely. And it's wearing thin now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm actually not lying, Beck, so quite frankly, yeah, I've learned quite from one and I have. I know, I physically can't fall asleep. I physically can't, like, fall asleep, and actually I'm not lying, so yeah, what's going through my tube? Feed and fluid, but yeah. No, it's not, because you switched the pumps off. Okay, thank you, darling. Kirsty, is the bottom yes, of her chair clamped off? Yes, it's clamped off. One minute. Just because someone's all over What's the scene doesn't mean what's over there about them is the truth. No one's living in my life, so no one actually knows the truth apart from me and my family. You go through it every single day and that's a fact that's not an opinion like everyone else has got that's fact <laughs> yeah just like me then darling it's actually not love that's funny it is quite long my hair is quite long love Thank you, Patricia. I love you. I appreciate that. I don't expect gifts, though. That's okay, Jodie. I do live alone. Sorry, Patricia, if you didn't mean to send that. I know. I know, Becky. I know you do. Do I take melatonin? I don't. I don't take anything for sleep because nothing helps me sleep, basically. It's either one of those nights where I know I'm going to sleep or I'm just not. I know you know me better than most people, Bex. We've been together for the past, what, seven years? Let's face it. A little bit sometimes, just when they poke out slightly, it irritates the edge, do you get what I mean? Do I have any pets to cuddle? No. I used to have a dog. But I don't have one anymore. Wow. Hey man, it's jeez. That's because you realize, no, I don't. I can't have a dog, lovely. I wouldn't have the ability to fully look after a dog independently. That would make you sleep if you have pain. Making. So having pain makes me less sleepy, actually, because I'm in intense pain and I can't sleep because of the pain. It's called pain somnia, literally. Get a cat. Mm, yeah. Again, it would be things like the litter tray that I wouldn't be able to do and things that I can't do. I don't want to have an animal that I'm independently looking after that I can't physically look after to what I think they deserve the best life possible, do you get what I mean? So an animal deserves the best life possible in my eyes and anyone and any animal does. So if I can't give it that best life, I'm not gonna own that pet because I'm not putting it through it. Do you get what I mean? Like I'm not putting it through kind of a worse life than it could have somewhere else. I've got a weighted blanket, my mum and dad, but they never brought it over because I didn't use it. I do have carers, Taylor, just not 24-7. I have carers three times a day. Yeah, the pumps are loud and they're very annoying. Exactly, I don't want to get any pet that I physically can't look after properly myself. 
and that would feel horrible having an animal that I just couldn't do enough for if that made sense. I'm not end of life now. Do I like Stitch? I do like Stitch, yes. You have gastroparesis. Gastroparesis is a tough condition, lovely, yeah. We're not talking about this, lovely, quite frankly. I am getting treatment, darling. I don't, I actually don't want 24 seven cares, carers even. Do I like San Rio stuff? Not particularly, no, but. What do I take for my pot? Either Bradine and Venlaflaxin. Venlaflaxin is used off license for pots in some cases. I have been on Trazodone, it didn't help. Nothing helps me sleep. I'm telling you, I've been on quite a, little, quite a cocktail of medication to help me sleep and it's never worked. And it's really frustrating, but yeah. So now I just choose nothing because it Nothing works, what's the point of taking it? No, I haven't. I was on I was on propanolol and bisoprazole before and they both dropped my blood pressure like nobody's business, so it was really dangerous, but yeah. My medications don't make me drowsy, no. Sleep tests I haven't, no. None of my meds make me drowsy or sleepy, literally. I don't, I get, I'm, I have chronic fatigue syndrome, believe it or not. So I get really tired and I kind of push myself past that point to overtired where I then can't physically sleep. And I do it without even realizing I'm doing it now. I just don't like sleeping. No, I don't have a pick line. Do you take propanol for anxiety? Yeah, see, I was on it for POTS, but it really dropped my blood pressure. Really dangerously like, low. Have a good night, pony life. I don't know what your actual name is, but have a good night, lovely. My lights are too bright. I can turn them down, lovely. Exactly no point on being in med that doesn't help precisely that. I don't want to take any more that, you know, if they don't, I turn them down a lot, lovely, my lights, so yeah. Sarah Jane, have a good night, lovely. Chronic fatigue, or I mean, yeah, it's, it is horrible. I've lived with it since I was 10 years old, 10 or 11, I think it was 11, that I was diagnosed with it. So because I've had it since, since such a young age, but I've also always struggled with pain insomnia slash insomnia. It's also men, I've had to battle the both and my body's just got used to getting by on less sleep. It is cold. I have hypermobility too. It's horrible. Oh, bless you. Bye, Annie, lovely. Take care, sweet. I don't have MCAS, no. I never go three days without sleep. I can't make it that long, lovely. I wish there was a cure for pain because pain medication puts that Band-Aid on and then when essentially it's peeled off, it's gone again. How long do my feeds normally take? They're meant to be 20, 22 to 24 hours, so yeah. Weighted blankets don't help me. I can't feel my legs, lovely. And you're not meant to have them too high up your chest. What happened to my other account? I've still got it. 
This is my normal account. I've just changed the name. What do I take for sickness? Quite a few different things. Can I eat solids? I will occasionally suck on a couple of sweets. That is it. And I mean occasionally. Yeah, they are lovely right there. People will say whatever they want to say. Am I vegan? Technically not. But if I had a choice, I would be. I can't be vegan because I'm on feed and there's no vegan feed that we've been able to find. I know there is. I'm aware of that. I was in NICU when I was first born too. I was a NICU baby. Soya feed isn't vegan, lovely. So Nutrison Soya is not actually vegan. Hey Stacey, I'm okay, thank you. It's okay, Jennifer. I'm just, you know, just isn't. Alex, I'm, you doing okay? Nearly six months. I was born at 28 weeks. Yeah, Premi. So I was, and um, that's partly where some of my issues have come from. Being too premature, my body hasn't developed properly. So it's left me with complications, long life complications. I have had beforehand Oreo. How long have I had pots for? It's only been about four or four years, probably, roughly. I'm not quite sure. No, no. Because my mommy asked what caused me to be in a wheelchair. So originally I was an ambulatory wheelchair user. So yeah, um, that was because of weakness in my legs and muscle loss and also from fainting through my pots. Unfortunately, now I am paralyzed from the waist down and I am in a wheelchair full time. Yeah. For sex, you don't have muscle like loss and you don't get muscle loss. So in, in school, when I did my GCSEs, I wasn't actually in school a lot. But doing my GCSEs, I also did healthcare, childcare and philosophy and applied ethics as applied like BTEC slash um, level two courses with the GCSEs. So I did them all together because I wasn't in school. I did a lot of my schooling in hospital. So that's actually like in children's hospitals, they have school work that you do. I passed most of them lovely. Yeah. There's one I didn't pass, but that's fine. I'm not even going to lie. It was history. <laughs> I have a super pubic catheter. Yeah. I know, lovely. I hated history, honestly. Funny, isn't it, that she failed history because she can't even remember the history of the own shit she said. Yeah, they are really nice now. I had one-to-one -one schooling as well instead of like, you know, so I thought some more then. I actually don't know. I don't know, you know, all of my history of being a child. You know what I mean? No, we know you don't. <laughs> Can't even remember what you said yesterday, love. Jesus. So, so you have a, I'm going to say live, yes. So you have a, uh, you're lost to me. So for your bladder, it's a, you're lost to me, yeah? Am I correct?
if I could go back to study, I definitely would, but unfortunately I can't. I don't know, Martha. So my catheter is a super pubic catheter. I don't feel it. I don't really know it's there half the time, apart from when I forget the bag and then suddenly I know it's there because I forgot the bag. <laughs> I don't feel it, lovely, no. Then what, what do you mean? So my catheter goes through my belly button, well, not my belly button, but uh, incision that goes in here through my pubic bone, essentially, or through my pubic area. I don't feel it at all, lovely. I'm paralyzed from the waist down, so it doesn't bloody hurt. <laughs> not for me anyway. <laughs> it was as a child, lovely. I don't have FND, lovely. I do not have a diagnosis of FND, so yeah. I've tried to clear this up many a times, but I don't, so yeah. I can't tell you anything about FND. I don't know much about it at all. Hello, my Mrs. M. I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I do have siblings, yes, thank you. No, sorry, I don't. So this is the thing, people are posting videos about me and actually just spreading misinformation by editing clips. What I was probably talking about at the time is how a doctor tried to misdiagnose me with it and they've twisted the words around. So like you were diagnosed with FND, a neurological yeah. disorder that affects your brains and that's why you couldn't move your legs. I've never talked about having FND, apart from the fact that a doctor tried to misdiagnose me with it, which is the truth. I've not actually diagnosed this. Oh my god. The video came from her own really account good. because she said, My legs is um, FND. She said that throat. herself. It's a direct quote. And this one you goes can into tell my when videos are clipped. Oh, she's getting on my nerves tonight. Yeah, everything that I absorb. Oh, don't you wait. I got a lot to say after we're done cam toing. Um, my medications are it, and that goes straight into my intestines. I don't know Chloe, quite honestly. Can it drain fluid? You only need it once a week. It's actually meant to be once every three weeks, uh, once every three months. I don't need it once a week. It literally just depends on literally if it displaces or not. It gets changed if it displaces. Normally they last three months otherwise. I don't do it myself. I need to restart the live, I've been restricted. All right, see you in a minute. Well, at least few seconds. You, Alex has got to move their phone a little bit, like every 10 minutes. It's kind of like, Alex, we got to do a TikTok shop thing where you got to move your phone every 10 minutes. TikTok shop. Yeah, it's all your fault, Alex. <laughs> We're not the only ones cam toing. When I left just a second ago, I saw somebody else is also doing it. Oh God, um, I've just been sent some screenshots. <laughs> People have been in here. They're on another live now, saying that we're all creepy with the name Caroline, and we've actually created a cult. Are people being honest to God? Seriously, people these days they really don't have any sense of humour, do they? Like, what, what the fuck? Seriously? I didn't realise this wasn't a cult. I guess I'm leaving now. <laughs> Is Alex back? Yeah, they're in the comments. I just, I don't get what's going on. Yeah. 
the subluxions and for and for long dislocations sometimes and pain, but yeah. This is nicely Jamon. Well, somebody just said the other live got a restriction too. Interesting. 10 minute timer. 10 minute timer, guys. TikTok shop and Alex moves the phone. I can drink, but I can't eat, love. I have epileptic and non-epileptic seizures. Kirsty, are you okay? Did anyone hear that crack? That was a good one. Yeah, I'm okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jackie, you didn't just go there, mate. Oh, my Lord. Hundred four. <laughs> Is it a weird feeling? There's no feeling. That's kind of the point. But it's very strange. Like, in my mind, it's very strange to come to terms with. Because obviously, it's been only two years. Unfortunately, that is one of the types of seizures I have, yes. Because it's only been two years, it hasn't been like a whole life. Yeah, it's very hard to come to terms with the fact that I look down at my legs. I can see they're there, but they're not there to my brain, if that makes sense. Like, and I can slap them, I can hit them, whatever. Like, or even just tap them lightly. And I can't feel any of that. Yeah, I can see them, which is really strange. No, the phantom feeling when people lose a limb is like they can still feel it's there. I can't feel mine. I have carers, lovely. Not all the time, but I have carers and my parents. And she just compared her paralysis to be worse than someone that's lost their leg. That here. She's a fucking knob. I'm not going to talk about that, Robin, thank you. I'm actually going to come off now anyway. It's getting late and I'm actually just so tired. I really need to try to get some sleep. Because I haven't slept in <laughs> two nights and yeah, I need to try eventually anyway. But yeah, I will see you guys soon. Lots of love and I hope you all have a good night. See you all soon. Bye, my love, please. Good night, everyone. Well, that was fun, weren't it? Yeah, that was fun. So, Kirsty, can I have the floor for just um, like three or five minutes? Yeah. All right. Um, I need, Kirsty, I need you to stop me if you don't want this being said on your account. And I'm not going to say any of the bad words, I promise. Um, mm -hmm. But first, first, I really need to put out the biggest of trigger warnings, like a huge one. So, if you are anybody that struggles with, like a mental health thing or gets triggered by um, anything that would have happened in the evening last night at the end of Emily's live. I really need you to um, either mute me, like mute the live, turn your volume down or leave for like five minutes and then come back. So I'll give everyone a minute to do that because it's really important that you do that. Um, but. I just wanted to say I feel that I can speak on this issue because for three reasons. The first is that I struggle with mental health myself. I mean, I think most of us do. The second is that I work in a psych ward. Um, and I think it's either a PICU or a PACU in the UK, but here it's just called a level. It, it doesn't matter. It's the highest level of inpatient care here. So I think that's PICU, right, Kirsty? Um. Well, I think Psych so. No, see, yeah, know, PICU, Psychiatric Intensive Care Unit. In I'm going to say, see, I know PICU is Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, but I know there is a psychiatric one as well. 
Yeah, they're saying yes in the comments. So, yes. um, so yeah, that's where I work. And um, the third reason, trigger warning again, is that my husband actually unalived um, in the same way that Kirsten was claiming that she attempted last night. So, um, oh, I feel like, sorry to hear that. no, no, I don't, I don't want that. Thank, thank oh, you so much. Sorry. Um, that's not why I'm here to speak on it. I want to, I want to give everyone, um, a dose of my experience, which is that she went public this morning at around 5 AM UK time. And when she did so, it was her first appearance since this supposed attempt. And it was about six hours after, maybe five hours after, maybe even less, I'm not sure. Um, but as somebody who's worked in the field, in my experience, um, that's what she was presenting at, as is not what it looks like whatsoever. Not whatsoever. Um, first of all, her neck, um, her eyes, um, there would have been blood vessels that would have probably burst, um, and the markings that were on her neck were very inconsistent with what I have seen. And being in a PICU over in the U.S., we see it at least twice a week, if not more, um, with, you know, people trying that. So anyway, I just wanted to put my two cents in that it really looked like it didn't seem consistent with me that the, st the story doesn't match up, that this is what John is saying happened. Um, I'm not sure that I, I, I think I believe him that there may have been something around her neck, but I don't, I don't think that it was enough to constrict her airway, especially considering what she looked like. Um, and also somebody in the comments in her public live asked her about it and she got very upset, which is justified. But she was like, you can't even see my neck. And, and that wasn't true at all. She was wearing like a t-shirt, a regular t-shirt and we absolutely could see her neck. And um, then she was like, fine, I'll show you. And she pulled down like to her collarbone and the little mark is still there today, but she's got, thank you so much for the gifts. I have to recycle them because I'm on workman's comp and they go to victims of Kirsten, by the way. Um, so she has a little mark on her neck and she did last night too. Um, it is so small and it does not. So when they, when people do that, it typically looks like rug burn uh, or rope burn. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. And she had what looked more like a cut or a paper cut or it, it tends to result in bruising. Um, yeah, just super inconsistent. And that's all I wanted to say. Super, super inconsistent as somebody who's seen it repeatedly over and over and over. I've seen it probably hundreds of times, unfortunately. Um, I, we've never lost anybody except for my husband um in the hospital so yeah that's all i wanted to say also really quickly she also denied a whole bunch of her um diagnoses and we've got screenshots in the public live last night we've got screenshots that she said she has smas mals i'm sorry if i mispronounce this chiari malformation and i believe she also denied saying she's got fowler syndrome but i have it all on screen recording uh, um, so she tagged some videos with all four of those conditions and she was on a public live last night saying, I've never had those or SMAS. She said, I no longer have that. It's an arterial syndrome. If somebody could please correct me in the comments, I don't believe that you can just get rid of that. I think it's a lifelong condition. I'm not sure. Um, and then just one quick last thing. Um, I just want to. Men Oops. Sorry. I just want to mention that there was a Brutus, come here. She, there was an intellectual intellectual vulnerable mod in there for her um, until about 6:30 in the morning. So an intellectually vulnerable person trying to um you know manage a public live where people are um you know, giving her hate and asking all these very rude questions about her, um, uh, the thing around her neck, you know what I mean? And 
she's got a literally very vulnerable person in her mod group as the person who stayed up literally all night. And she's also very sick, very poorly, this individual. And I think a lot of you know who I'm speaking about. So yeah, thank you so much, Kirsty, for an opportunity to speak on this. And one more thing, um, I am American, obviously, and she is targeting the Australians and the Americans. That's why she went um, lot, sorry, that's why she went public at um, like 5 a.m. this morning, UK time. So uh, if you guys could give me a follow, I am gonna be cam toing her like the moment I have enough followers. I'm getting really close. Um, but that way we can start getting it out to the Aust Australians and the Americans. So yeah, thanks very much, Christy. No, you're welcome. Oh. Hello. Hi. Right. Sorry, I'm one, I'm I'm a bit weird, me. I don't like too many people in the box at the same time. <laughs> because no, everyone no. talks over everyone, yeah. aren't they? No, okay. I yeah, I can't. I can't stand it. If anyone talks over me, then I just completely forget what I'm going to say. I'm like <laughs> yeah. me, and I boot people out of boxes, so it's better. I just let one person in at a time and talk. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I was just going to ask. You know that person? I was in the shower at the time when I was listening, so I couldn't really listen at the same time. But that that person that came in claiming to be the carer for K. Yes. I find it funny that like Kirsten didn't say at anything about it on her live because I knew she would jump on that straight away. Yeah. I just I honestly wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her to be honest. Well, that there's a lot of women in our room with her. But yeah. after that I thought, right, well everyone a lot of people were going for her. Mm. Which I didn't find fair at all. No, not at all. But at like... the end of the day, we invited her into that box. We told her to come up. Now, if it were the other way around, because we've had curers in boxes before that have, you know, agreed with us, said she's not paralysed, she can, she doesn't need this, she doesn't need that. Now, I think if it went the other way, a lot of people wouldn't have been saying what they said in that live this today. But because she was sticking up for her, people said, like, oh, well, you can lose your job over this. But they never said that to the person that... We're sticking up for her, uh, not sticking up for her, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, d I, d I only kind of heard little bits because I was in the shower. I still had it like playing, so I could only hear little bits. And I was like, oh, right. Like, obviously, as it, I work as a carer myself, and I was thinking, like, oh, God, would you risk doing that? You know, like, because, you know, it can lead to serious consequences of not working in care again. But I, I just I just thought it was weird, like, how, you know, like, Kirsten has jumped on other people's coming into your lives. She didn't say a single thing about her being in your life and consequent and and at the same time she came off her life and i was like mm, yeah this doesn't add up it, she's in that like yeah. oh, she yeah. sent her over 100 as far as i can throw her i don't yeah. think he was a carer no no definitely not because there's no carer that doesn't know about gdpr at all <laughs> so i was like um yeah, she didn't even know how to report anything no and then i was like well like even at the end of it when she was saying oh you know i'm gonna go back to my old manager and explain that i was like thinking well you're gonna shoot yourself right in the foot by doing that because you're gonna to have to say to her you've discussed it all over all over tiktok <laughs> like how are you gonna get yourself out of that one <laughs> so i was like oh but yeah no it was very very strange very strange yeah it was crazy but yeah anyway i hope everyone's okay after last night's live i don't know was you in it with emily I was in for a bit and fell asleep uh, and woke up to 13 WhatsApp messages and about 16 messages on TikTok. Yeah, it was it was pretty horrific, like trigger mm -hmm. warning of whatever she was saying at the end. Like, you know, I've been through that myself in regards to that incident. And like, I, you know, it's, I, I kind of try to relate to, not, not relate to Kirsten because I don't condone her behaviours. I think I was trying to get into the mindset of Kirsten and just thinking like, I think she's dug herself into a massive hole that she doesn't, she can't get out of. Like, no matter what, she's, yeah. she's, you know, and I don't think she will change her ways because I don't think she's at a point of no return. Um, so I was just kind of talking about that in regards to it, just trying to get into the mindset of a mental health background of it. But um, yeah, no, there's no excuse to be 
coming on live and saying, well, this is what she's just done. That's She's not taking responsibility for her own actions. At the end of the day, you don't blame other people for your own incidents, regardless of if you feel like you're being bullied or anything. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you, agree. you don't put that onto anybody else. So, well, Because I'm not being funny at this moment in time. She's getting as good as she gives. I'm sorry, but she is. Yeah, she she as good as she is, and that, and I, I do get why they stuck up for themselves last night with that Swanner account with what they were doing because I, I I said from the start I didn't believe it with them. Mm. I, I I kind of knew when she said about oh Carly, she she mentioned you as being Carly, and I was like, well, she would know you're not Carly. Yes, exactly. Carly's your child, and she's the one that she's targeted. Yeah. So I thought, mm, yeah, no, I think. It, but then at the same time, you just don't know, do you? I mean... Yeah, I don't think it's her, personally. I, I really don't. Yeah, no. I don't mm. know who it is, but I don't think it's her. It's someone that's just stirring the pot. I guess, and I don't think it's fair that... I'm not being funny. Kirsten has made enough shit for herself, as it is. She mm. doesn't need anyone else... Yeah. ...causing anything for her. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's not fair that people are going to go around and cause extra for her. No, I mean, like, when I when I heard her come on to Emily Lee's live yesterday, I, it's, I'm, like I said, I'm not not condoning her behaviours. I'll never yeah. like, stick up for her. I, it, it, her voice almost sounded like it's her own kind of desperation to try and find a way out of what she's done. But I did say in that live, I just feel like she's dug herself so deep into a hole that she can't even find her way out. Yeah, I, I completely agree yeah. with you. Yeah. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I do completely agree with you there. Yeah, definitely. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I need to go to bed because I've literally been up watching these lives for the last, like, four bloody nights, like, staying up till about 4 a.m. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you better get some sleep then, aren't oh, you? I, I think I do. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, well, oh, God, I was like, absolutely laughing at her tonight, saying, like, I physically can't sleep. Well, actually, no, your body, like, you can't. That's not a diagnosis. <laughs> Everybody has to sleep at some point, love. Like, you can't claim that you one. Know, yeah. there's, there's a thing called insomnia, but <laughs> saying your body physically can't sleep, yeah, no. <laughs> it's like, she doesn't look like, oh, sorry. <laughs> she doesn't look like she's been awake for fucking over 48 hours, like she's saying. No. Because wasn't she like going off like all day yesterday saying, oh, I need to get sleep or something? I can't even remember now. Yeah, like, she's doing it like... today as well. She's having little oh. naps here and there throughout the day. Yeah, a load of rubbish. Mm. A load of rubbish, but yeah. Alrighty, I'm going to drop down. So. Yeah, no worries. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, on that note, then, guys, I'm going to get off, I think. Because I'm knackered, quite frankly. This, why are we putting trigger warnings? I'm going to bed. Do we need a trigger warning for my bed? <gasps> why have we got a trigger warning, Shani? I'm going to bed. <laughs> I didn't know I need. I, don't, I didn't know I needed a trigger warning to go to bed. Trigger warning, sleepy time. I was like, what? And Shanna's giving me a trigger warning because I'm going to bed. <laughs> hmm. Oh. People might be triggered that <laughs> you need sleep. There's a trigger and I need sleep then. Yeah. That's on them, not me. <laughs> trigger warning for birds. Uh, I love my bird, me. Oh. But yeah, I'm going to get off now then, guys, because I'm absolutely knackered. And I need to go to bed. <gasps> 
Oh, uh, just a massive, um, just want to say before I do go, um, there was, um, I got sent something of someone from another live saying that we're all creepy and we've started a cult and all this crap, but I just want to say jealousy is bitter and if you've got a problem with what we're doing and having a bit of fun out of a shit situation, then that's on you, not us. You know what I mean? If they can't have a bit of light-hearted fun in a shitty situation, then that's on them, not me. So fuck you, fuck them. Good night. Not fuck you. Not you. Not you. Not you people. Fuck them. Not you. Them. But yeah, on that note. Good night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Not you, I didn't mean you, Zlot. <laughs> no, honestly, though, the, the, the fucking jealousy, like, you know what I mean? Bitter. Proper bitter. It's fucking grow up a bit, you know what I mean? It's a bit of light -hearted, light hearted, hearted, light hearted fun in a shit situation. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Hell, Kylie, new leader. <sighs> but yeah, on that note now, guys, I am going to bed. A brown hearts for ginger, but I don't want brown hearts. You look like shit. I'm joking. My gingerbread man's ginger. He's not brown. <laughs> brown star, oh no, no brown stars, please. Ooh, yay, ginger hearts for gingerbread man. Oh, gingerbread man's too. I love him. I don't know what my eyebrows are doing. <sighs> yeah, but that right, guys and I will. I'm going to sleep. I'm going now. There's not. There doesn't need to be a countdown because they are very shaky eyebrows, aren't they? Very shaky. I'm tired. Right, no, I'm definitely going now. <laughs> Night, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. You and it was uh, me about you because you never have, huh? I never helped you, really. Did I no, not? You didn't. You're I doing this. So, who was it that you that used to call your dad every time you had a fakey shaky? They're not fakey shaky, <laughs> they're not diagnosed as epileptic and non epileptic. Prove it. Diseases. Prove it. I would if I had the paperwork here. Mum and Dad keep it far away. So you have no paperwork in your house at all that proves your condition. So no, what about your care plan? It. What about your care plan you apparently have for when paramedics come? That's on my wall. So that I can't reach or show. You can reach it, Kirsten. and don't lie. We've I all seen you stand. stand up and walk. We've all seen you, you stand not. up and walk. You actually haven't. We I've actually have. I've been in a wheelchair for two years. That video on my post is from over two years ago. No, it's what, not, Kirsten. Do you want to Kirsten, what about all the other videos of you going up on your legs, going up on your knees? What about all of yeah, those? because and I can pull myself. I can pull my weight with my arms, and that is the truth, and you don't like it, so you roll your eyes. It's not about not liking it, Kirsten. It's about you the fact like the that truth. we all know it's not the truth. We all it know you can stand truth, up and it you can the walk. Truth. I will no, get that not. paperwork. I will get that paperwork. But Kirsten, wait Kirsten, for listen it, to me. Likely. No, I'm not you listening messaged to you. Me, you messaged me when I was modding for you back in 2023 and told me you'd been paralysed for three years. No, I didn't. I said I've been in yes, a wheelchair for three years. You told, I asked you, when did you become paralysed? And you said three years ago. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And I can prove it. I can show the messages. I'll prove it. Okay, do it. I don't care. Okay, I will. I'll, send, I'll do a video with the message. Whatever, with goodbye. all the messages.
Hello. Hello. Oh. Sorry, you can hear me, can you? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, right. I, I'm going to keep it brief and I'm not going to answer questions because there's no way I'll be able to satisfy you all. Um, I've just got a call to Kirsten after um, she's tied a ligature. Uh, I got her in time. She's okay, which is why I'm here. But she is 100% not swanner. Now, you, you're going to believe that or not believe it. She appeared the other day while Kirsten was in hospital. Like it or not, it's true. I don't know what Kirsten said. I'm telling you the truth. Um, swanner appeared at that point in time. Whoever it is seems to be playing games and is trying to make you believe she's Kirsten. I can assure you it's not. I watched a live the other day when someone was also poking the host. Again, I got the blame, so I went into that live. It wasn't me. I don't play about it. I've got one account and this is it. I've got no fakes. I'm not interested in that. I've got nothing to hide. But on that occasion, I can assure you it was not Kirsten. It was not physically possible. She was in hospital and I had a phone. And I had a phone because she once went into hospital and it got left behind and ended up with the wrong patient. Now I know it's all, I, you know, I see all your comments. <laughs> My priority is Kirsten. She is at the end of a tether. You won't get her sectioned. You will get her dead. Take responsibility or not, that, that doesn't matter. I'm not here to blame you, but I am a dad at the end of my tether. She is at the girl of, at the end of her tether. And I know you choose not to believe her. We are taking steps. One, to get help. Two, to get the proof that we need out there. Um, when she chooses to live her life on TikTok, we, provide, we choose not to provide all the evidence that we have got in her defense on TikTok because we don't think it's right. We don't think anyone's ever going to accept it as good enough. It'll be fake. It'll be someone else's. It'll be whatever it'll be. But I just want you to at least believe something. If you believe nothing else, Swanner is not Kirsten. They are poking at this to make you believe it is, presumably in an attempt just to make her life even worse than it is. And believe me, it's not, it's not good. I don't know how much longer I can keep her alive because of all this. You call it awareness. What has been created in the background as a result of your awareness is a lot of hate. You might not say you're haters. It's generated a lot of hate is all I can say. Uh, don't think she deserves it. Don't think the family deserve it. Uh, it. It's vile. We don't report the nonsense to the police, but we do report the vile stuff. And that comes on TikTok and that comes on messages. Um, people are trying to turn their lives upside down. Don't think we deserve it. Don't think Kirsten deserves it. Um, she has got proof and, you know, we're, we're trying to do what we can in terms of proof of medication. A carer, a carer of, or an ex-carer of Kirsten's came online and from the minute she opened her mouth, lied. Um, can't undo that, can't backtrack it. We are trying to deal with a company she worked for. Can't believe she still works for them. Um, GDPR breach and all that, although... As I said, it's 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 all. Right time, if it has to, will be shared, but it won't be on TikTok. You do realise, John, that she pushes people to share their medical information and their diagnoses by saying there's nothing wrong with this person. They sent me their medical records. I know there's nothing wrong with them. She did it to me, John. She knows about my medical history. She knows I've got the conditions that I've got. Yet she told everyone that I was just mentally ill and that was all that was wrong with me. And then she sent her mods after me. There's certain stuff... I'm not going to defend. I don't. I don't watch all the videos that get sent my way, and, and I get quite a lot. But I'm just. It's not that I'm not interested. I'm just trying to, you know, have a life, which which doesn't for me involve TikTok. But I do pick up on bits and pieces. But I won't say I agree with everything because I don't. I, I wish this was all very very different. I am in a different room. I'm just going to check on Kirsten. Hold on. You all right? Okay. So, you know, if I could make all this, this go away, I would to help Kirsten. And 
and, and answer questions and benefit everyone else. But but you know this is this is why out of hand. And uh, this is not me asking you to stop, because you'll make your own minds up, and that has to be fine, and we have to live with it here. But but Swana, whoever that is, is for a start a troublemaker, and is not Kirsten. If that makes any difference, I don't know. But Kirsten's life is hard enough with with things that you know she does say that does get picked up, it does get shared and manipulated, and all the rest of it. But on this occasion, this is not her. They are stirring, and I've got no idea what they say because I don't watch the stuff. But that's what's tipped her over the edge tonight. Tomorrow yeah, night, it'll be something. Towards disabled children, they said that disabled children should be unalived. Yep. Which I is mean, sticky. no one in the right, no one in the right mind would say that. That that isn't Kirsten, and I and I do know about the the history, whatever it was exactly, with with Carly's fight. Um, there's stuff I won't, I won't defend, and I don't know the ins and outs of all of it. But Swanner is clearly trying to manipulate the situation and make life worse for Kirsten. Okay, then that's oh. an account that I would suggest you you fight Kirsten's corner on. If it's not Kirsten, I would suggest you fight her corner. And if you see that account activated, I suggest you report it. I will do my very best. Because yeah, from I, the looks of it tonight, Swanna came into our li my live as soon as Kirsten went offline. As soon as she came off her yeah. own live, Swanna came into my live. And then yeah. Swanna left, and then Kirsten joined. So it was just very convenient. And I understand yeah, that. There is a very easy way for you to check to see what Kirsten's alt accounts are by just going on her profile, and you'll see all of her alt accounts. I'm, I'm happy to do that, right but I don't think you know people don't these these days believe me any more than they believe Kirsten. But I'm happy to do that. What she did tell me, it she screenshotted something apparently uh, when they I think don't know she's in a mods chat, so she wasn't on live, but she was in a mods chat, so she wasn't actually in your live either. She I can hear I can hear her calling. She's saying that, but sorry, Kirsten, what? Yeah, right. Yeah. Jump into Emily's life. Was Swanner was in there to prove it wasn't me, but then Swanner jumped out. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, she, yeah. She said she was in a mods chat, and that Swanner was in there. But as soon as she came in there to prove Swanner wasn't her, Swanner left. Now I can't tell you the the moment any of that happened. So you you could call that convenient. You could call it honest. I'm gonna say I believe I believe it. I'm a dad, perhaps you say I would do, maybe that's me enabling. It's not, it's me being a dad trying to be honest with you. No, I understand that, I'm a parent myself, and, but it's, like I said, there's a very easy way for you to check, and then all you have to do is, you know, check yourself and you'll be able to see what alt accounts that she's got. If I, if I do that... made are very, very similar to the comments Kirsten made on the Carly's Fight page. I so understand. it makes perfect sense that it is Kirsten. They're probably, they're probably meant to. Dad, you can look on my account. You can screenshot it and send it privately to Emily. Right, I'll do that. I don't. I don't know how to do it. If you take you, a picture of yeah, it on you, your phone even and send it to Emily. I don't mind you doing that. You set it up for me then, please, because okay. because I don't know. I, I promise I won't delete it. I've got nothing to hide. Well, all right. Okay. Don't have you heard that? I, I really, I do really want to tend to Kirsten, but somehow I've got to be able to, you know, put the phone down leave here tonight and trust that she's going to be okay i'm not sure i do this was her idea to you know try and try and get you to believe just this one thing anyway if nothing else okay but did you, did you hear that she said i can screenshot it and send yeah. it to you emily yeah well you've got my number yeah. you've got me on whatsapp yeah. I, I hate the fact everything appears everywhere um as i said i if people send me questions that I don't want to answer for whatever reason. I won't answer them. I won't no, defend. Well, I won't post the, picture, the picture you send to me, I won't post it online. I'm not going to do that. The same as the pictures that Kirsten has sent to me and things that Kirsten has, has said privately to me that I won't post online because they're private things she said to me and they're not relevant. So I would never share those things. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. In this, in this world of TikTok, nothing seems private. <laughs> no, I understand that, but that's, that's not who I am. Private photos that she has sent me, I will never share because that's not okay. 
and, and I'm not sure if, if you're aware of all the things that, that get said about me. Maybe I'm not aware of them all either, and I probably don't want to be. There's some, there's some vile stuff. But this is just all snowballed where anything and everything is getting poked at. There are lies and misinformation left, right, and center, some of which I don't think people realize that the spreading misinformation, but such is the, the extent of this. There's a lot of opinion, speculation, assumption, and that has to be okay. That's everyone's right to make those. But all of a sudden, that incorrect opinion, assumption, gets spread as fact. And, you know, there's so much of it now. I don't you know, it's take anyone a hell of a long time to filter out the, the truth and the rubbish, if I'm honest with you. Um, but can I, can I do this? I want to attend to Kirsten, please. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if you, if you are at least open-minded enough to believe this genuinely is not Kirsten, but they clearly are not a friend of Kirsten, and trying to do damage, and that is what they've done. Yeah. Right. I'll shut up and let you let you carry on with your night. Thank, thanks, all. Okay, John. Take care, take care of Kirsten. I, I didn't jump in by I didn't jump in by choice. I promise you. No, I know. Um, take care of Kirsten. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Good night, all. Thanks. Bye, John. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.